In this video, I'm gonna be round tripping from DaVinci Resolve to Avid, and I'm gonna do my transcoding in DaVinci Resolve. Let's be better editors together. And there's two reasons for doing it in Resolve instead of transcoding in Avid Media Composer. First of all, I'm gonna do it in DaVinci Resolve because I will grade it in DaVinci Resolve at the end. And reason number two for doing it in DaVinci Resolve is that it's actually quicker to transcode in DaVinci compared to transcoding in Avid Media Composer. But to do it right, there's a few settings we need to take a look at. On my desktop, I have two folders, day one and day two. In day one, I have three different cameras. In this video, we're gonna start importing camera one and camera two from day one. These camera files are from the Ursa camera from Blackmagic. But before I'm gonna import any media into DaVinci Resolve, I'm gonna go down here to my settings and I'm gonna go into general options. To make sure that our material, our proxy files, our low band files will relink back to the original camera files, we need to make sure that DaVinci has all the metadata it needs to do this process. So what we want to make sure is that under general options and the settings, it says assist using real names from the source clip file name. And this is to make sure that even though I change the name of the files in Avid Media Composer while editing, it will still remember what the source clip file name was originally. And this will help us to relink to the original camera files when we want to do our color grading. I'll make sure to have screenshots of all the settings that I'm using in my workflow. So you have a checklist every time you need to do transcoding. And remember, I'll make sure there's a link below it's safe and you're all set to start importing your files. I'm in my camera one folder that I already made. I'm right clicking and I'm gonna say import. I'm gonna go to my camera one folder, select all of my files and just click open. With all my files selected, I'm gonna say make a new timeline. I'm gonna call this timeline camera one and hit create. My camera one timeline loads in my window. I'm gonna head straight to deliver because we're not gonna do any work on these files in DaVinci Resolve yet. We're gonna move all these files to Avid Media Composer. On the deliver page, you have a few options. You can export it to Final Cut, Premiere and so forth. And today we're gonna do an AFF export to Avid. And first of all, it's gonna ask us where to put it. And I already set it up to be day one, but I actually want this one to be in a folder called cam one. I'm just going to do a backslash and say cam zero one. I'll check my video settings and it's already picked MXF OP Atom, which is the camera file that Avid prefers. Atom means that it's split in a video file and audio files. I'm going to choose DNX HR. And the reason for this is this is the newest file format for the Avid Media Composer. And if you pick the Avid Media Composer's original files or codec, it will run quicker and faster and better in the Avid Media Composer. I'm picking DNX HRLB, which stands for low band. We're actually doing a proxy workflow where we're editing or transcoding to LB proxies and we're editing in LB proxies and then we're gonna return it back into DaVinci Resolve for grading. And when we do our color grading, we're then gonna relink to the original high-res files, but we're just editing in proxies. This one is on rendered source resolution, which means that all my 4K material will be in 4K raster sizes and all my HD material will be in their original raster sizes. That means if I'm editing in an HD project and I have some 4K material, I can actually do some digital zooming into it without losing the resolution. And I'm gonna leave this one on, use constant bitrate. I'm gonna go into the audio section to make sure all my settings are right here. Linear, PCM, and I'm not gonna add any frame handles because I took the full clips and put it into the timeline. 
bit tape is 16 and channels i'm gonna leave same as source i'm not gonna change it here and that means that if a camera file has five tracks it'll take all tracks over if it only has two tracks it'll only make two tracks for the camera file or if it doesn't have any audio at all it'll take just a video file and make no audio files for the transcode and under file i'm just gonna leave it as is i'm not gonna make any changes here and then i'm gonna hit add to render queue so now my first job is ready transcode to avid that's the project and this is my sequence name and i'm gonna drop it into a folder called day one camera one but before i hit transcode or render all i'm gonna go back to the first page and make my camera 2 material ready as well i'll right click make a new sequence from the files i'm gonna call this one cam 2 so i know this is all the camera material from camera 2 i once i hit save it will load my camera 2 sequence i'll jump straight into delivery page find my avid aff make sure it saves it at the right place and I actually want to make sure that it makes a new folder called cam2 instead of one. I'm checking my file settings are right. They are. Checking that the audio settings hasn't changed. Doing the same thing with the video. It seems like it's all right. Add to render queue. And then I'm going to render all my jobs. So let's say I had 10 different cameras or, or different recording days or shooting days. Then I will make sure to set up all 10 different cameras and make sure they all went into different folders to set up render all i can either do like that or i can make sure to select them all and then say render all if i just hit the one it'll only render job two but i want to make sure it will render all my jobs in this case two jobs day one and day two hit render all and the process starts and it's already done I'm going to go out to my desktop to check what it's done. These two folders are the folders with the original camera files. And here it's made a folder called day one. And inside that folder, it's made a folder for all the material in camera one and a folder for all the material in camera two. I'm just checking and all the files are here It made an AFF file that we're going to use to relink to the files inside of the Avid Media Composer. And it's made all the MXF files that we need. So what it actually has done in this case here with clip C029, it has a video file and two audio files. And that's how Avid MXF Atom works. All right, now I'm going to physically move the material that we transcoded from my desktop to the media drive that I want to be editing on in Avid Media Composer. I have my hard drive down here. I need to make a specific folder structure to make sure that Avid can see all my media files. So I'll make a new folder. The top folder needs to be called Avid Media Files. It's very important that you name it in this exact way. Otherwise, Avid Media Composer won't see it at all. Inside that folder, you need a new folder called MXF. And inside that folder, you need to have at least one folder. If you just open up the Media Composer and start importing or transcoding files in the Media Composer, it will make all these folders for you. And the first folder Avid Media Composer makes, it will call folder one. If you already had your Avid Media Composer open, you'll probably have this structure. Avid Media Files, MXF, and inside the MXF, you probably have at least one folder. And if you're working by yourself, it's probably gonna be called one. If you're working on a Nexus system with shared storage, it will call it by the computer name plus a number after the computer name. But in this case, we're just working standalone with OneDrive and it'll look like this. But instead of calling it one, I'm actually gonna give it the shoot date. I'm doing this so I can sort out where my different proxy files are and which day they were shot in. So I'm just gonna give it the date number, 22 October and this year, like that. So when I'm doing my day two, I would change the date and make a new folder in here. So what I do is I take these files 
got the Vinci Resolves made. Copy him into my folder here. And I'm just making sure that the AFF file doesn't come along. It doesn't hurt, but it looks nicer to just have the MXF files in here. And actually make sure that you put it inside the right folder like that. So now my all my files are in my numbered folder under MXF. And now when we open the Avid Media Composer, it will start scanning this folder to see if there's any new files in it. And there will be. So I'm starting up my Media Composer. The Avid Media Composer has already scanned all the Media Files folders. And I made a project that I call From Resolve. You can call it whatever you want. Open your project. Go to your bins. I made a bin called Day 1, Camera 1, and Camera 2. So I'm going to start with my bin or folder called camera one in avid you call these bins and the other ones that look like folders are called folders my files at this moment are already on my media drive but my project doesn't see my files so what i need to do is i need to go to input source browser in source browser i need to direct it to our aff file that davinci resolve made and it's on my desktop so I'll go into the day one folder that DaVinci Resolve has made, and it's actually called zero one instead of day one and two. Doesn't matter what the folders are called. I'm gonna go into cam one, and I'm gonna take my FF file, make sure a link to it, and say link. Now you see that all my files are popping up from DaVinci Resolve and are linking down to my media drive. I can just check my files by double clicking onto them. And Resolve has actually made a sequence as well, but I don't need the sequence. So I'm just gonna delete it right away to make sure I don't get any error messages from the sequence that Resolve has made. Delete, I'm gonna go and make a bin called cam2, load it, and then I'm gonna guide my source browser down to the other FF file that Resolve has made for us. Just gonna make it a little bit bigger so we can see it. AFF. And now it actually says Cam1, but we want the files to show up in Cam2. Make sure to change to Cam2. Hit link. And it shows all my files from the Camera2 sequence. It actually brings over the sequence as well. I'm gonna do the same thing, just make sure to delete it right away to make sure I don't get any error messages in Avid Media Composer because this sequence was made in DaVinci Resolve. I can double check my clips, they're all here. And now I'm ready to start editing in the Avid Media Composer with the transcoded files from DaVinci Resolve. To see how you get your files back from Avid Media Composer into DaVinci Resolve and relink it to the original camera files in the high-res resolution, please check this video on the screen. And if you like this video, please comment and subscribe. And when you comment, you can ask any questions and I'll try to give you the right answer so we can be better editors together. By the way, this is how you make a string out.